It's Wednesday, my dudes. Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Happy Halloween. This is my favorite day of the year. I am very, very excited. Today, I'm going to be doing just like a little get ready with me. It's not really a tutorial. It's gonna be more like a get ready with me. And it's going to be a get ready with me for my Halloween costume. And I have to give a huge shout out to the founder of the Carolina Cosplay page. He founded me, founded me, he founded me. He friended me on Instagram and we started talking and he suggested that I do Wednesday Adams for Halloween. And I love that idea, especially with the new movie being out. And so I'm gonna be Wednesday and Nikki's gonna be Pugsley. And um, I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna do for that. Without any further ado, let's jump right in. Now I will say you guys saw, if you watched the Get Ready With Me for the, Car the Carolina Renaissance Festival one, I tried to go really pale for that. I'm gonna do essentially the same idea for Wednesday because obviously that was like her whole aesthetic is like super dark clothing, super pale which, you know, I'm all for that aesthetic. So we are going to use the same Juvia's Place concealer, but I'm actually gonna mix it up today and use the Cargo Cosmetics Swimmable uh, Lightest Shade Foundation. If you haven't heard me talk about this, this is probably my favorite foundation. The only critique I have of it is they think there are seven shades in the entire line, which if you know anything about foundation, you know that that is nowhere near what is enough to color cover everybody's skin tone. So I have the option to go between like slightly too tan for me and then ghost. Um, I have each one of them because I figured I could mix them if I needed to, but uh, we're gonna go full ghost today. But that's just a rundown of the products that I'm starting off with. We have not figured out what we're going to do yet on Halloween, which is now today as this is posting, this would be today. So we don't know what we're doing today in the future. But right now we're filming it on Monday, Halloween's on Thursday. So hopefully we have time to like figure out what it is that we're going to end up doing. I had all these weird pimples start popping up in like the weirdest places. Like I had a pimple here and a pimple here. They look like snake bites. There's like one that was like directly, they did, they like, my like emo 15 year old self who really wanted snake bites was like, oh, this is what they would have looked like except they were pimples. And then I had like one weird one directly on the center of my nose, but like up a little bit. So it was like right there. And then there was like one over there. I don't know where they came from. Brow wise, I'm just gonna go super dark with them. Um, so I'm gonna use some of the stuff that I know is a little bit easier for me to work with just because I don't wanna spend a whole bunch of time on it. I did buy a wig for the Wednesday Adams look. It's actually a very nice wig. Like it's a lace front wig. It was only $20 on Amazon. So I wasn't expecting a ton from it. But it is nicer wig. I am not a wig stylist. I'm not a hair stylist. I'm not any sort of like capable hair person at all. I styled it. It's a little, it's a little wonky right now. Hopefully in terms of like when we actually go out on Halloween, it'll look slightly better, but we'll see. So I went ahead and fixed up my eyebrows best I could. This one is just really annoying me like every time I do it. So like I just am done fighting with it. Yeah. Yeah. And then I went ahead and blended in my concealer. So we're going to move on to the uh, Ghostly AF shade of the Cargo Cosmetics Swimmables. Um, I've never used this particular shade. I've only used the medium one that's slightly too dark for my normal skin tone. And then I normally lighten it up. So we'll see how light this is. But I'm predicting it's going to be pretty light. I normally go with the NYX, the drop ones that I use for the, uh, the Total Drop that I used for the Renaissance Fair one, but I really like the swimmables and I was like, well, maybe this one will be like really light. All right, we're going back in with Aerospun. I didn't think about the fact that I was doing this makeup like four days before as a test run and then we're going out with it, but um, I'm definitely doing like, it's I'm gonna be pretty goth looking today. That's basically what I'm getting at. Okay, so I am going to do a pretty harsh contour, uh, especially for me, for my standards, because I normally don't. And instead of doing blush today, I'm going to take this Kat Von D eyeshadow in this like kind of brown color, and I'm gonna do that because uh, I don't want any color on my face at all, not for this aesthetic, so. Um, but yeah, like I said, we're going out and doing stuff after this, so it'll be an interesting look. Um, I am gonna go in, I'm using the Kat Von D um, Shade and Light palette as well. But I'm gonna go in and just do some nice deep contour on my cheeks to make me look a little bit hollow, just like I am inside. All right, going in with this eyeshadow. I have no idea how this is gonna work. That's why we're testing it out. Could be worse. Definitely makes me look muddy, but like what was I expecting using gray eyeshadow as a blush? Uh, obviously I'm gonna do highlighter because I never don't do highlighter. 
Um, and I'm just going to use for the highlighter. This is pretty Ofra, Ofra, whatever one, the Beverly Hills one, um, because when you swirl all the colors together, it makes a really nice kind of white pearlescent color. And I, I think that's going to be a good, a good look. This particular one today likes to glow. All right, so now we're going to jump into the eye look. I figured this would be a good use for the Naked Smoky palette. And for the Lorac Pro, the La oh, it's a, it's a two. I was thinking this was number three. I don't know why. But uh, I had it in the wrong order in my collection. But um, there's a lot of good grays and stuff in the Lorac Pro. Um, and then there's, like, obviously the Naked Smoky palette is a um, nice smoky palette, as the name would entail. Um, and then I also have that same, this is the Naked Smoky. I'm struggling today, guys. I'm sorry. I apologize. Probably because I'm exhausted. And then I've also got the Kat Von D, the little um, eyeshadow palette that we used for the cheek color. Um, it's got a nice pretty gray, black, that muted one that we used for the, um, the cheek color and then a white one. So with all of those in combination, I think we can make a nice, pretty, dark, smoky eye to make this look really very Wednesday-ish. I was trying to think about like the last time we did anything like really fun on Halloween. Because a lot of times we worked, like last year we weren't even together because I was in Southport and you were here. And I honestly think the last time we did anything to really celebrate Halloween was when we got engaged. Yeah, 2016 because it was when it, right before I graduated. Mm -hmm. I figured uh, if we're going to do a get ready with me, maybe while I'm doing my eyeshadow, we can talk about us getting engaged. So they can hear the story about once upon a time how we uh, got engaged. <laughs> Three years ago. We got engaged. It was my last day in my last like full service restaurant job which I hated. That's the reason that I don't want to ever go back to serving with that freaking job. But anyway, it was a nightmare my nightmare day. Like all my customers were just weird. People were like really doing like the whole screw you on tips thing. Like I had one party, they rang up like a $110 tab or something like that. Like we're super needy and I was super on top of it because I didn't have a ton of tables. So like I was give giving them really good care. And then they left me like $5 on a $100 $110 tab, which is like not even 10%. So I was like, uh. moral of that story, tip your servers and waiters. Yeah, right. Moral of that story. Don't be cheap. If you're going out to eat, please tip people. Thank you. Unless you're in Europe, there are different rules there. But in America, please tip your damn servers. So yeah, so I was 100% over, but we, I knew, I knew we were going to get engaged. Like I knew, I knew he was going to propose because he's not clever. He had told me like he got, we got drunk and he told me like a month before that he had bought a ring. So I was like, it's coming. And I figured it was going to be on Halloween because, like, why wouldn't it be? It's both of our favorite holidays. So, anyway, he makes a uh, reservation at our favorite restaurant. Well, my favorite restaurant. I think he likes it too, but it's definitely my favorite. It's Melting Pot, which is, like, a fondue restaurant here. I was like, yeah, it's going to happen here. But I still was surprised. And I still, um, I still, it was very sweet. He did it. Well, now the dog left, so I guess we bored her with that story. It was very sweet. It was very well done. We had a really nice time. And then, like, Towards the end, right before dessert came out, I, like, went to the bathroom and I came back. And then he, like, awkwardly in the booth didn't, like, get down on one knee or anything. Just, like, stayed in the booth and was like, will you marry me? And then he was, like, crying because he's, like, a little bitch. Ah! And I was I like... Was the only one that was crying. I did cry, too. Yeah, I did. Okay, so I did go ahead and clean it up with a little bit of concealer off camera. Now I'm just going to take a couple glitter shades. I'm using the severed head of a brush, if you cannot tell. It was a two-sided brush and uh, one side fell off almost immediately, so, but it is actually a nice little like brush, so I'd sometimes use it for this kind of purpose. I would expect nothing less of Wednesday Adams to use. The severed head of a brush? Mm -hmm. I mean, fair enough. Okay, so I donned my wig. Like I said, it does need a little bit of touching up, but this was just a really quick, like, pulled it out of the bag and did a quick style of it. All that's left is some black lipstick, and then we're gonna see what uh, Nikki's costume looks like and my costume look like together, so. Yeah, I'm actually really excited. This was like a super easy costume. I think the dress was like $25, something like that, $26. And then the wig was like 20 bucks. And uh, we got them from Amazon. Nikki's shirt was like 17 and it shipped within like two days. So we ordered them on like Friday and uh, they came on Sunday. So yeah, it's kind of hard to beat. Do I look like Wednesday? You. you. I feel like Wednesday, so. All right, so we're going to get into full costume. And then we're going to show you guys like what the full look looks like.
Nikki and I uh, were both pretty tired filming this, so uh, I'm sorry if it felt like dialogue was lacking. We tried to be interesting. Um, Halloween is our favorite time of year, so this is a really fun thing for us to do. Hopefully as the page grows and we have more time to dedicate to it, and now that we kind of know like the time frame, we'll have a lot more of the Halloween stuff like this next year. Um, but it was a really simple, really fun costume, and it wasn't super expensive or hard to do. Um, I'm really excited to go out and celebrate Halloween. Definitely check out our Facebook and our Instagram stories. We'll be posting some live stuff depending on what we're out doing tonight, so that way you guys can kind of see us out in costume. Um, but we figured it wasn't worth vlogging or anything like that. So just if you want to check in with us, make sure you're following us on Instagram or Facebook. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It super helps the page out. And as always, if you have not subscribed yet, please make sure you do so and hit the notification bell. Um, as we're filming this, we are almost, well actually, actually, since this is getting posted on Halloween, this is our final day for the 100 subscriber giveaway. So if you have not liked that video entered and subscribed to the page, please make sure you go find the 100 subscriber giveaway video. You've liked it, commented on it, and you are following the page. Uh, the winner will be chosen tomorrow and announced sometime soon afterwards. So. As always, I love you guys with all my art. Happy Halloween, and stay girly with a dark twist.